Konnichiwa! Your Coastal Ot Fuji Splits! Oh! Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fuji Splits. And today we're going to look at the Chiri, the Chinese Tier 7 medium tank. A disappointing samurai. Maybe. So, this is a real tank. Um, it didn't see any action in World War II, but it was developed towards the end of the war by the Japanese. And it was the closest the Japanese ever got to producing a Tiger 1 type tank. It's a medium tank in Blitz, and as you can see here, it's pretty big and pretty mean. Despite the fact it's only a medium, it does bear the characteristics of a heavy tank. Now, the thing about this little Tier 7 is that a lot of people don't like it. They, they, they just don't get on with it. In fact, it's one of the worst performing Tier 7 tanks in the game, according to Blitzstars. It really surprised me, but we'll get more onto that later. So that's what it looks like, and this is what the armor looks like. And as you can see, it's pretty thin. And this is the, the biggest downside to the Chi Ri, in my opinion. The armor is pretty thin, and here it is up against an IS. And as you can see, I mean, it's very easily penable. There is nothing there that the IS cannot slice through very easily. Now, as you can see, I've got the auto loader um, on installed here. Damage wise, it's 160 per shell. Rate of fire is just over 16 rounds a minute. Penetration is not bad. Armor, mm. speed, not bad. Rotation, pretty decent. Now, we're going to get, you've just seen the armor, but we'll get into that in more detail later, along with the rate of fire and its damage. When we get into the detailed stats, it's got 1,250 hit points. You can see there the armor is pretty thin. 75 millimeters is the max. View range, however, is really good. Almost 290 meters. Camo value, just below average. Rate of fire, I mean, the DPM is 2,578 with the autoloader. That's pretty good. The reload time is nine and a half seconds. That's for the magazine. Shell reload time is one second, and you get three shells in the magazine. You get the average pen of 163 on your AP. On your premium AP, you get 195. Damage, 160 on your AP, 135 on your premium AP. And as you can see there, it's got 10 degrees of depression. Top speed, 42 going forward, 18 going back, so it's pretty mobile. Now, the thing about this tank is, it's not a front liner. It looks like a heavy, it's not a heavy, it's a medium. If you stick this too far on the front line, you're gonna get pained. It's really, really, you're gonna get hurt. It's got good gun depression. It's not a hold down tank because the turret is not thick, as you can see. I mean, if I go haul down here, that BP can just pen me. It will pen most tanks. Uh, I mean, that was a bad shot on the BP, and this is another bad shot on the BP, but I tracked him, and that's all that matters. Now I can lay him for the lower plate, and I'll knock out some decent damage, and the BP is gone. The thing is, I frontlined it a little bit here. I've been slightly aggressive. I'm trying to use the hill and get the gun depression working for me. But it is a tall tank, and it's really easy to pen this thing. So I've already lost almost half my hit points. Not to worry. I mean, the gun is not bad. Compare this to the Chi Nu, which is a tier 5 tank. I mean, this has a magazine of three shells, and it reloads in nine seconds. The Chi Nu has a magazine of one shell, and it loads in eight and a half seconds almost. I mean, that's just ridiculously stupid. So this thing, gun-wise, is much better than its tier 5 counterpart. It, do, it will bounce in very strange circumstances like this one, where I've just bounced 640 from that SU. I'm going to smack him now, and this is the good thing. The problem with the auto loaders, as you should know, is that you've got to wait for that magazine to load, take some time, but boy, the burst damage on this thing is massive. I mean, you can churn out close to 500 alpha if you get all those shots in, and that is not bad for this tank. I mean, like I said, it's got a rate of fire of 16 rounds a minute. That is pretty good going when you consider it. And as you can see, we've done 1,200 34 damage when you take one kill we get a nice second class for our troubles which was nice indeed here we go again this time on canyon i'm going to try and use this gun depression to the maximum but as i said you're still pretty paper thin it's not a 
great haul down tank because the turret is pretty open as you can see there that su 101 m smacked me but look at this i mean the gun is is very nice indeed you can get some good shots in i mean i've just done 429 roll into him that's a full almost uh, roll from the burst I mean, that's so nice i mean in this is what makes this tank. The armor, you need to understand, it's thin. The mobility is not bad. The aim time is not bad. The reload time for an autoloader is pretty nice. The penetration and the damage output is also pretty nice. So, why do people struggle in this tank? Well, they struggle in this tank for two reasons. One, because it looks like a heavy, people tend to play it like a heavy. It's not a heavy, it's a medium. And I say this in a lot of my videos, you have to consider why do tanks have certain things. So, why does this tank have really good mobility? I mean, it's pretty fast, almost 40 kilometers. Well, to get that mobility, you have to sacrifice something. And what it sacrifices is armor. And you need to understand that. You don't get good speed if you've got big armor. I mean, the heavier the tank, the slower it will go. It's that straightforward. So to overcompensate for the lack of the armor, you've got a pretty good gun. If you frontline in it, if you brawl in it, you're going to get hurt. You need to keep it away from the danger in real terms. So sometimes you just can't, but you've got to do your best to stay away from that danger. As we've, said, as we've shown here, we've done 1,348 damage, we've taken two kills, uh, we didn't cap the base, we got another. We got a nice third class, we were a medium tank, but that's a successful game. And this is how you've got to approach the G re. If you start sticking this on the front line, guys, it's going to be a bad day in Somalia, basically. It's that simple. You need to understand that to be successful in this tank, you need to use the gun and the mobility. Don't forget, this has got a fantastic view range. And it really has. I mean, it's almost 300 meters. It's got a really fast load time. It will dish out reasonable DPM and it will pen most tanks. And this is what you've got to be looking to do. You can take some hits, don't get me wrong. I mean, you've got enough HP to take a couple of hits and I've taken a few hits here. And I've already done just shy of a thousand damage. Um, I make a mistake here, I didn't know that VK was there, but not to worry. So now I've lost, what, a third of my hit points. The VK is being a pain in the posterior. So I'm gonna drop down, move towards the A cap, see if I can get rid of the T43. Um, I should be able to. Here we go. Boom. There's number one track him. There's number two. And somebody else gets rid of him. I've now done 1,135 damage. I know there are two tanks there. There's the AMX and there's the VK. Here comes the VK. He's going to roll down. He wants a bit of me because he can see that I'm on half my hit points. He's on full health. I've now reloaded my, my clip, my magazine. I'm going to roll in. I'm going to track him first. He's going to hit me, I'm going to track him again, and then I'm going to track him a third time. So now he is fully tracked. Oh, he's repaired. I've almost reloaded. He's on next to nothing. He makes a wild shot there. So plow one into his front, plow another one into his front, get him gone. And here's a lucky AMX with a bounce. <laughs> so I've now done 1,900 damage. Now I'm capping a base. Now somebody else takes the AMX. There's two tanks left. They're both over there. It's a KV-1 and a KV-2. I'm not even going to bother to go over there. We've got enough tanks over there. I'm just going to go up here, see if I can uh, do anything if they come out. And that was a good engagement. Okay, it was slightly front line, but I had good cover. Um, and I was able to get into cover, wait for my reload, and then pop out and empty an entire magazine into the enemy. And that's what you need to do with this tank. You need to realize the gun is good, the armor is pants, and the mobility is good. And if you play it with that mantra in mind, you will be more successful in this tank. I assure you, you really will. You've got to play it like a light medium, even though it looks like a heavy. Don't let appearances fool you. 
Anyway, this is the last game. This is a subscriber of mine, Holy Deville from the clan Azur, rolling out in his Chiri on Alpenstadt on the North American server. And what you're going to see here is exactly what I've just told you, is he's going to play it as a second line support tank and he's going to use that gun to its maximum. He's got the VK over there all lined up into the bottom plate, boom, boom, boom again. 479, that is a high roll on the burst. Every single shout enters that VK. And as you can see, he's having no problems penning. And, you know, it's just a fantastic gun. And he's well away from the danger. And this is what you need to do. Because that gun is accurate. It will pen and it will dish out reasonable damage. He's already done just shy of a thousand damage. He's in a good position. He's behind a rock, so he's got good cover around him. He's hoping that that tank on the left is going to spot them all up again. There's the T25 too, and here we go again. They're all spotted up. Maybe he can get something into the T... No. He's going to hold back. Oh, presenting another VK. Boom, boom. One more maybe. Nope. He can't get that last one into him. One tank's gone. He's now done 1,200. He can possibly... No, that's just a bad angle. He's now done 1,000. 200 damage he's still not spotted he's going to move forward a little bit because he really wants to take out something that was just bad oh and he finally gets one to pen move forward a bit more use that mobility he is still not spotted both sides have lost two tanks he's he's seen a a, a couple of tanks over there oh can he get anything into that? No. Oh, here we go again. Oh, that's a difficult target. Moves out of the way slightly. Deflects the shot. Oh, he gets penned. Now he's going to move. He's thinking, no, that's not a good idea. So he's going to move away from there. He's going to go around this corner and see if he can put anything into these tanks. Oh, a low smasher. Boom. And again, boom. And a third time. Boom. Oh, yes. 480. Maximum roll on the... Uh, on the magazine there takes a lot of hp away from that smasher can he get anything else into him boom no no one more maybe yeah he gets another one he's now done 2192 damage i mean this is what you should be doing in this tank guys patience is a virtue when playing a g re and don't buckle to peer pressure your, your team is going to scream and shout at you, but you've got to understand the sort of tank you've got. And I'm sorry about the sort of jerkiness of the replay, but the replays aren't exactly great at the moment. Now he's in a little bit of trouble. He's got quite a good reload, though. He's slightly better than the Smasher. He can plow everything in, gets rid of the Smasher, does 3,042 damage now. He's on his magazine reload. The Tiger 1 is a one shot in real terms. I don't think he's going to be reloaded in time to get the Tiger one. Maybe, maybe not. The Tiger one is still there. Uh, the Tiger is now gone. The Tiger P got him. Maybe he can get the AC, uh, the Sentinel. Oh, he misses. Maybe this time. Yes, he gets the Sentinel. He's now doing 3,158 damage. I mean, this is a fantastic role in this tank. I mean, getting this much damage in this tank. I mean, it is a damage monster when you play it well. When you've got when the stars align and you play it like this, boy, this thing can churn out the pain. And as you can see here, Oli Deville is really playing this tank as it should be played. He hasn't really frontlined it. Um, he's he's used the gun and he's nurtured the tank, protected those hit points where he can. Okay, he's had to take a few shots. Here we go. He tracks him. Bang. And another one, bang, and there you go, kill number three. 3,406 damage, it says on the, the the banners. Let's see how that is. I mean, that is a fantastic roll. That is a well-deserved mastery, and it was actually 3,435. Three kills. I mean, that's a great game, and I'd like to thank Holy Deville of Azur for kindly sharing his replay. That emphasizes the tank, guys. That's how you need to play it. You need to make sure that you're not in the front line, that you use the gun, use the mobility, and be really, really mindful of that very poor armor. And, effectively, the long magazine reload time. 
Anyway, that has been the Chiri. I have been Fujit. I'd like to thank Holy Deville for again for kindly sharing his replay. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do. It keeps me happy. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or join my Discord server and upload them there. And until the next time, I will say my usual thing. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.